If you've read The Cross and the Switchblade or Run Baby Run, you need to read Shane. Still only aged 21, he was rated by the Home Office as being one of Britain's most dangerous prisoners. I guess he dream and fantasise about ways he would actually want to kill a police officer. And I heard the door open, I just turned round and stabbed them straight through his body. News broke of the hostage situation that's happened with Shane. Got this lad in my cell and I had a knife, uh, like a, a homemade blade, but with like three separate razor blades on. Then another prison officer came towards Shane, so he stabbed him as well. And then we just went wild. And I was just carried away in the segregation unit. Bent us up like a deck chair. Go in the box, they tend to put it on freezing cold as well. So they'll take you and strip you off. There's no bed, no mattress, concrete floor. They wouldn't open my door unless there was at least six, seven prison officers with ride shield, ride gear on. Can you imagine what it's like being in segregated off? Six months, nothing to do, 23 hours bang up. One hour walking around the cage. He just basically he just he had hatred and the bitterness to, to, to his core. But then a day came that changed everything overnight. And that's the biggest thing when I became a Christian, was suddenly realising all your life that you've been wrong, and that the people who you've hurt, the people who you've damaged, um, is hard to face sometimes. I know I'm forgiven. Read about what happened next and the day that changed his life. The book is available now on Amazon. The film is due out in 2020.